go on having fates. Flower shows always go down one went to Bloomfield Farm. My flower show always goes down extremely well, I agree. It's an important annual event, but uh, two would be gilding the lily. Up in town, when we wanted to raise money, we used to run a bingo. Did you? Nobody speak. I have it. A firework display. We'll have a bonfire. A bonfire this time of year. We usually have a bonfire on November the 5th. You may choose to have a bonfire on November the 5th, Mr. Shepherd. I shall have a bonfire whenever the mood takes me. We shall hold it here at Bloomsbury Barton Park. You, Police Constable Parsons, will be on duty at the main gates. What else do we need? Of course, a Guy Fawkes. Funny time of year for a Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes lived all the year round, Mr. Shepherd. We may throw him on a bonfire any time we choose. Now, who's going to make him? Oh, that's a job for these two, isn't it? Uh, John, Sue? Oh, yes. Can we make him look funny? We can make him a monster. Like the creature from the Black Lagoon. Certainly not. If you do want a Guy Fox, what's wrong with that old scarecrow of mine up in Ted Acre? No! We're going to make the guy you promised! Not if he's going to be a monster. It won't be a monster. It'll be a real guy. Well, that's what I said. It'll finish like my scarecrow. Glad to get rid of it, I will. And then you can fix me up with one of them electric rock scarers, happen. Oh, my pleasure. This is your fault. Say something. Um, what if it rains? Really, child, you're just like Mr. Shepherd. I think it's a splendid idea. A scarecrow. It'll give our bonfire a, a rural feel. Well, I don't know about that, but it'll make a fair old blaze. All that straw. You just said, not in front of old Warzel. No, are you giving me the fright of my life? So you have. My stomach's going all up a bit of matter. Well, we had to warn you. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have warned me. There's no need. Oh, yeah, I've, I've dreamed about it. I've dreamed about it now. Horrible dreams about giant rabbits eating me alive or being thrown on the bomb on, the, on, the, on that thing that the smoke comes out of. We've got to think calmly. Yeah, that's what they think calmly. Come, where is the thing come? You're not thinking calmly. I'm not thinking calmly. I'm not thinking calmly. Well, of course I'm not thinking calmly. How can a scarecrow think calmly when he hasn't put his thinking head on? It stands to reason, doesn't it? I think I'm going to get you. about creatures of the deep, this would never have happened. Well, it hasn't happened yet, has it? We've still got three whole days full of B-O-N-F-I-R-E. Da da There! Wasn't a farmer rat three little pig, 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 a little dee dig. So that was a funny full man, and and dee 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 So that was a funny full man. Sing Nostrico rings in a low. So that was a funny full man, and and that these little pigs and they made and fine bacon, 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 a little little bacon. Just that was a wonderful man. Fine, no one knows that better than what I done. Catch! Oh, come on, Wazel, hurry up. <laughs> Now, are you sure that's the right head this time, Wurzel? I think so. Yes, but are you sure it's your thinking head? Well, of course I'm sure. I said I'll think so, didn't I? How could I think so if I haven't got my thinking head on? Stands to reason. Right, what we need now is ideas. He could always run away. I could run away. That's what I could do. Where would he go? He can't just plant himself in a field and hope no one will notice. Got it. I know what we'll do. We'll make another scarecrow. Got it. 
we can make another scarecrow. I just said that. Well, you may have said it. I thought it, but this year I'm thinking it, you see. But why should you want to make another scarecrow? To do us what? They'll burn our scarecrow thinking it's Wurzel. That's a terrific idea. But how do we make a scarecrow? Oh, oh. you leave that to old Wurzel. I've seen the crow man do that under the times. Yeah. Now then we'll need a suit of clothes and some trousers and we'll need a pair of boots and, and, and a big mango Wurzel for me then. Hello, Mrs. Braithwaite. Can I give you a hand? You can if you like. But if it's my apple turnovers you're after, I haven't baked any. Oh, we were just wondering if Mr. Braithwaite has got any old clothes we could have. Oh, I thought there was something. What do you want old clothes for? The jumble sale was last week. Dress up the scarecrow. Dress up the scarecrow when he's going on the bonfire? His clothes are too damp, Mrs. Braithwaite. They wouldn't burn. Oh, that would never do, would it? Come on, then, and I'll see what I can find. And when you've finished dressing it, put it in the old barn. Mr. Shepherd's coming for it tomorrow. What do you call these, then? Old clothes, like you asked us to get. I never asked you to get any old clothes. Oh, yes, you did, just five minutes ago. He'd forget his head if it was loose. Yeah, well, it is loose. It just so happens, Master Clever Clogs. A suit of clothes, I said. Not any old clothes, but a suit of clothes. Same as a suit of scarecrow. Old clothes has to be just right, old clothes does, and this lot ain't, so I'm off. But where are you going, Wurzel? To do the job I asked you for to do. We're not for, we're two. There. A Sunday suit, Wurzel? Well, I don't know what a scarecrow one with a Sunday suit. I'm afraid to go to church in the comprehensiveness. Uh, to repent your sins, no doubt. That's one of the thinnest yarns I've heard in many a long year. Oh, it, it ain't a yarn, your irrelevance. Now, I'll be in that village church Monday, just as sure as there's nine eggs to the dozen. Well, as usual, Worsley, you've come at the wrong time. What with sowing and planting, we're a little short of stock. Well, I know you'll do your best, Your Holiness. Ah, now, here's a bespoke article I had made for Soggy Bucket. Just look at the craftsmanship of those patches, Worsley. Everyone's sewn by hand. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, that's a... That's an overcoat and a half, isn't it? Well, it was half an overcoat too big for soggy boggart, so you might as well have it. Well, uh, thanks a bottle, your effervescence, but it ain't quite what I had in mind. What exactly do you need for this sudden conversion of yours? Beg pardons? Church going. Oh, well, if it's all the same to you, your generosity, I'd like a umbrella and a hat uh, and a scarf and a, and a jacket and a pair of trousers, a bit of strings and boots and maybe a daffodil. Well, it's not all the same with me. You'll have to make do with what we've got, so help yourself. But mark well my words. Mark well what words? No good will come of meddling with things you don't understand. That's what I call the stomach. Stomach and a half, that is. Because by right it should have a little rub in red breast inside it to keep all the slugs and the worms out. <laughs> yeah, what are you chopping at? You chop that out, give it some of the chop out. Is this how the chroma made you, Wurzel? That's right, in this very barn, so it was, hundreds of years ago. Impossible. People don't live that long. Ah, that's what you think, clever clogs. You go and ask the crow man down at three lane ends, where he's mending soggy bogger, what's lost his leg. No, I mean, how do you always know where the Cromer is? Well, I don't rightly know. I get this sort of tickling in me head, and this tickling tells me where the Cromer is, you see. I still don't believe you're hundreds of years old. You can't be. Oh, yes, I is, because I was as old as I wants to be. It's my birthday, Saturday, in case anybody wants to know. It's always your birthday. Saturday? Isn't that the same day as the bo Uh, we finished the legs, Wurzel. Call them legs? There ain't enough straw in them to last till Michaelmas, let alone through winter. Well, look, they don't have to last through winter, do they? Because they're going on the bonfire. Ah, you see, you said it. You said that word. Very well, you asked for it. I'm going to have a good long sock. Sit yourself. I'll get on with making the head. No, oh, no, you isn't. That's a vintage mangle whistle, that is. I'm not having the likes of you mithering and mothering around with it. I'll make the head. Gentlemen, come along. It's no good just throwing the wood on like that. It has to be bent up, making a graceful curve. Well, that's all very well, Mrs. Brumsbury Barton, but I only call round to dump these logs as a favour. I've got work to do. So have I. But we've all got work to do. You, Mr. Peters, must attend to your fairy life as the main gates. 
And uh, Mr. Shepherd, is that main steak quite firm? Oh, straight as a house, man. Oh, splendid. Well, now, all we need is our Joan of Arc. Hey, uh, how's that? It's very nice, Wurzel. Well, ain't you got nothing to say then? Cat got your tongue or something? Don't you think it's very nice? Oh, yes, Wurzel. Yeah, very handsome, some might say. It reminds me of you. Do it. Do it really? <laughs> well, well, well. Yes, it looks just like a real scarecrow. Oh, don't let the crow man hear you say that. Because it ain't a real scarecrow, you see. But it'll do. Serve its purpose, that one will. Hey. <laughs> well, what's this doing it now, then? Well, we're supposed to leave it here, and Mr. Shepherd's going to come and pick it up later. So you better get back to Tanaka. Oh. All righty, huh? Cheerio. Bye, Wurzel. See ya. That is the ugliest thing that I've ever seen. It's even uglier than Wurzel. Impossible. Although you did say you wanted to make a monster, didn't you? Not as monster looking as that. Good thing it's going on the bonfire. Oh, no, I ain't. You don't put me on no bonfire. Wurzel! Skipping slap cabbages. I ain't got time for your Jess and Jane. But it's true, it's true. Oh, go on, you have another word of the law. Look, we'll show you it's hard. What are you talking about? They can't have a lot of scarecrow. Over there! No. It ain't true, it can't be. Go fetch the crow man. What can the crow man do? You made him. I can't have done. I don't know what did, but I can't have done. Only the crow man can make a scarecrow come alive. these hands. And these hands made that scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He's passed it on to me and I never knowed it. I never knowed it, Mr. Cromancer. I swear it's on my little rubbing red breast, because if I had known it, I wouldn't have done it. I'd sooner cut my own head off first, sir. Well, now you have that, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I don't know. You, you say he can talk? Yes, he spoke to us. He said he wasn't going to be thrown on that, you know what? Oh, he did, did he? Oh. Well, well, we'll soon see about that. Oh, what dip? Dee what I were dip. 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 And where I would do where you were, so why were I with you were dip? Why were I you were dip? Do you where I would do where dip? He says I did. Well, so you did. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. And I made him for special purpose. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I made you dafted, and I can do what I like for you. Yeah. I can chop you up for firewood, else I can give you the old clothes, man, else I can send you up to Ten Acre Field to scare rooks for me, or else I can have you chucked on the, on the, uh, on the big pile of hot wood. You don't get me on a bonfire. Don't say that word. I made you daft, Dad, and I tell you, you're not to say that word. Anyway, who learned you to talk the same as what I did? You did, of course, you got lemmock when you made my head. And you'd learn me to dance. And do arithmetic. One and one is three. Two and two is five. 
and you learn me to sing. Oh, the farm. Come into the garden. Stop that racket this instant. You see what it is, don't you? He's got all my heads rolled into one. Coming I mean, very useful, Ned, that, that would. I could do with an Ed like that, so I could. Well, you're not having it. It's mine. Give me that Ed. I will not. Give me that Ed, or I'll knock it off your shoulders. Ooh, just that. Where have I gone? What have you knocked your head off? Well, don't just stand there and do something. <laughs> Right, he's going to reckon your ball's loose. <laughs> Dangnation donkeys, you could have stopped him if you'd had a mind to. How could we? He's much bigger than us. Yeah. Well, now the dove dead's gone, we ain't got no scarecrow to put him on the... Wurzel, I've been thinking. Suppose they did. Uh, suppose they were. Uh, I mean, if anything did happen to you, it would only be one of your heads that... Well, you know what. And if the crow made you another body, wouldn't all the rest of your heads carry on being Wurzel? No, it don't happen like that at all. Because I, I remember the time when I lost me head in up head. A terrible headache I had, too. Something awful, like a nest of field mice in me ear all. Then, dang it, if I, if I don't find me head in up head in the pig trough, and there was an old sow trying to eat it. I was nearly done for, I tell you. Why? Well, we'll just have to think of a better idea. You can think what you like, Missy. I'm off a mud stop in here to be chucked But where will you go? America. Hi, it's Mr. Shepard. I'll be glad to see the back of it. And what have you two been doing all day? I thought you would have put new clothes on it. Well, typical, you can't trust kids to do nothing. Well, wants to get home with this. I've got to shove jumping crackers up his trousers before I can go home. And I thought it was his Brunswick Bart and wanted rockets. Well, she can have rockets if she wants them, just as long as she pays for them. What are you going to do now? Find the Cromwell, of course. But we don't know where he is. Yes, we do. Three lane end. Something you was wanting, is there? Oh, I was wondering where we might obtain tickets for the uh, conflagration. Oh, it's no good asking me about that. Don't know nothing about it. You'll have to ask Mrs. Bloomsbury Barton, and you watch your steps. She'll have you looking after that car park. What are you two doing here? We just came to look at what, uh, what you've done so far, Mr. Shepherd. It's so nice. So it should be time I spend on it, and don't you go messing about with it. If you see those two messing about with that scarecrow, you tell me. I'll be over there looking after them fireworks. I will indeed. Thank you for your kind mm -hmm. assistance. Now, Whistle, a pretty pickle you've landed yourself in this time. Yes, I, I know I have, Mr. Crowman, your, your honest your magicianship, sir. But I beg your pardon, sir, but I didn't mean to make no scarecrow what walks and talks. I didn't know I had it in me, I swear as I did. You shouldn't meddle with things you don't understand, Whistle. Your job is to guard ten acre field and scare away the rooks. That's why I made you. Yeah, I know it is, Mr. Crowman, sir. I, I know it is, your iron might and your worship, sir. And that's what I'll be doing from now on, sir. I'll scare those old rooks like Billy O, sir. If you just get me down from here, sir, I promise he's on this here little robin redbreast for sitting. Yeah, well, actually, I haven't got a little robin redbreast in my stomach here at the moment because, you see, she knows what's good for her. She's flied away. Why is little robin? and stupid old Wurzel. Well, what's to be done? I don't know, Mr. Crowman, sir, your effervescence. I just don't know. But I was hoping that your is... You were hoping what? Go on, tell me. Pardon? Oh, uh, I, I was just uh, saying to the children, I hope we don't have any rain. You would serve her right if we did. Bonfires this time of year. <laughs> Can't you make it rain? Oh, my dear girl, I can't work miracles. Well, thank you, children, for showing me where the uh, pyrotechnics are to take place. I'll uh, get back to my labours. <laughs> that should blow him to pieces. <laughs> ah, excuse me. How are you? How are you? 
I light you a sparkler. Is it one of those? It's a fat green cabbage that Mrs. Bloomsbury Barton's gardener gave me for my supper. Unless, of course, there's been a frightful mix-up. Guarantee this is going to work, or is it? I've given you new arms before and new legs and new stomach, but never all three at the same time. Not since you were born. So if it doesn't work, you've got only yourself to blame. No. Oh. But if it didn't work, what a waste of a fine aid. Well, we'll just have to hope for the best. And by best, I mean your best as well as mine, Wurzel. If I'm going to bring you back to life, I want you to be the best and busiest scarecrow in all the county. Huh? Now, let's see. <laughs> that I will, Your Majesty. That I will. John, Sue, come away from that window and finish your breakfast. Come on. Now, John, I want you to pop down to the village ironmongers and see what they're charging for detonators. What do you want detonators for? You know why I want them. I promised to make Mr Braithwaite an electric look scarer. Though I have to go about it, I haven't got the foggiest idea. Ah, oh, ah. Uh. What do you mean, ah, oh, ah? Oh. What have you two been up to? Well, we thought you didn't know how to go about it, so we made Mr Braithwaite another scarecrow. Well, it won't like that. Can't stand scarecrows. I will like this one. It's a really hard-working scarecrow. Don't be so silly. How can a scarecrow be hard-working? Well, you see, this one's had a terrible fright, so he's taking it out on the crows. Soppy apers, eat your breakfast. Did you make this, Dad? Uh, yes. Keep it up, Wurzel. I'm watching you. Oh. I guess how you're on in this, uh, Mr. Gromancer. Carrying on straight away. We're going to have your fight. Crash it. Go in the 